Residents of Babale community in Josno local government area of Plateau State have voiced the support for the federal government's initiative for full local government autonomy. They believe that restoring full autonomy to local government will foster development in villages and communities rather than having state governments detect local affairs. Adomusa tells us more. Nigeria has 774 local governments, but their administration has been stifled by the overbearing influence of state governors. Concerned about this situation, the federal government, through the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, filed a suit with the Supreme Court seeking an order to better guarantee the independence of local governments. Residents of Babale community in just no local government area, like many other Nigerians, have expressed their support for this move. They cite the lack of significant development in their area for decades as a key reason for backing the federal government's effort to ensure local government autonomy. It take a long time that this development has happened in this community. It take a long time, truly. Sha, me, my own suggestion is, truly, we need, we need federal government to give the, the local government this autonomy because of truly when you see our facility our health facility here is very poor it's very poor we do not have health workers we don't have equipment in this area we don't we don't have employment in these communities that is why we need to look many our women's men many our women here they are dying silently they are dying because of what lack of health workers, lack of equipment, lack of uh, health facilities entirely in this community because of we do not have we do not have what good equipment in this area. When there was full local government autonomy some years ago, we used to enjoy a lot of things. Schools and primary health care were well equipped because we could take our complaints to local government council and quickly attend it too. But today, we don't enjoy it anymore because the autonomy is no longer there. Our hospital and school are completely deteriorated. <laughs> For the past two decades, I have never seen any developmental project by the local government. All the social amenities we enjoy today were executed by the then military regime. We're supposed to enjoy the dividend of democracy because local government is closer to us than the state government. But this is not happening. The residents believe that the local government autonomy will bring much needed progress to their community. Yes, we are calling for federal government. We are telling them to, if they can, they can hear our voice, if they can agree with us, they can send out, they can join their hand with our local government and give them what is needed to them so that they will support us here in this, our area and in this, our communities. Uh, in giving back the autonomy to local government, we will be very happy because we will have our hospitals, schools equipped, and other social amenities will be provided. I believe that if local government election is conducted by INEC and fundment for the local government is given directly to the elected chairman, we are likely to experience development in our various communities because the chairman will have total control over the fund. Nigerians are now waiting to see whether the federal government is going to win the battle to secure full local government autonomy for the growth and development of the third tier of government whose powers have been truncated for years. Adomusa, Trust TV News, Joe.